guilty on all, all three counts. I am over the moon excited about this, but I'm not happy. I have mixed feelings about this. There's a blessing awaiting you over there, over there. And all your stressing, they will quickly This ruling is so well deserved. We are seeing a glimpse of justice in this whole racism scenario that we have been seeing in the foreign land. Well, it's everywhere. But in this particular case, I am hoping that this results in a change, a shift in cases like this. And maybe we don't even have to have another case like this. And in the midst of all of it, the ruling, everything, I can take comfort that with Christ, we are all equal at the feet of the cross. I mean, the Bible tells us that there's neither Jew nor Greek because he is the Lord of all of us. This means there is no barrier with Christ based on the color of my skin. That I was born naturally with. I have no control over this. But... The Lord left us a blueprint. He says, we are to love our neighbors as ourselves. We are to realize that there is neither Jew nor Greek and that he is the Lord of all of us. And while as Christians we might have a heavy heart about the situation, we have to think what would Christ do? I mean, while it is a hard pill to swallow, or I sh should say, while it's a hard pill for the minorities to swallow, that as Christians we have to be going through situations like this, the Lord still left a blueprint, you know? And uh, as I mentioned those before, but if we should really take a step back as Christians, as hard it is as it might look, as hard as it is, I should say, um, it's hard for us to forgive Derek. But we have to. We have to put it in a way where no sin is greater than any and if we stole something and we are unrepentive and Derek who murdered another black man is repentive then he makes it to heaven and we don't because you, you get what I'm saying? Or he repents while behind bars and we still have an unforgiving heart towards him. Then we lose out on heaven and he makes it. Or both of us are unrepentant because no sin is greater and we both make it to hell <laughs> so uh, as Christians we really have to look at the situation and still have a forgiving heart while we play our part to try to eradicate racism and do our best in showing brotherly love in with whoever we come in contact with now in an attempt 
to really wrap my mind around what is happening I put pen to paper and I wrote this short um, poem to express how I feel about the situation I hope you enjoy it rich in melanin is my natural skin equal at his feet we have all committed a sin rich in melanin is my natural skin get up off our necks let us breathe so we can win rich in melanin is my natural skin stop the hateful judging you're stretching us thin rich in melanin is my natural skin Despite your racism, I have love for you within. You with the rich melanin in your skin, your heavenly father will turn your frown in a grin. You with the rich melanin in your skin, the Lord worked it out. Your time will begin. I hope this video was worth sharing and my short attempt of poetry speaks to your heart and go ahead like share subscribe and in the comment section how do you feel about the situation what do you think how many years do you think he deserves and let's continue the conversation there thank you so much for watching and until next time see you in my next video and stressing from both left and right You need a daily dose of blessing right up in your life I know it feels so very difficult and depressing But you gotta hold on to the positive and keep on pressing The blessing you know if you need it then you can't stop We keep rising